Hi, in this video we're going to show you how you could clone your system or Windows drive to a, another hard drive. So let's say maybe your hard drive is failing and you want to move it over before it crashes for good. Or maybe you want to move to a larger drive. Uh, you could use this free program to do so and it works pretty well. So we're going to be using a program called Disk Genius. I'll show you how it works in a second here. But first we have Disk Management open just to show you what we're working with here. So we have the C drive which is a 64 gig drive. Then it has the other EFI system and recovery partition that Windows will add when you install Windows. So we're going to clone it to this 80 gig unallocated drive right here. And I'll show you how that works. So let's go to the program here. All you need to do after you install it is click on OS Migration at the top here. So this tool does all kinds of other stuff. You can manage your partitions, format, uh, do some file recovery, do hard drive tests and that type of thing. But anyways, we're going to click on OS Migration here. So select the target disk, which is the 80 gig drive. So we have the local disk, 64 gigs, going to the 80 gig drive. So it's going to make this 64 gig partition and have 16 free space here. Unless we do this, then we could use up the whole drive. So that's what we're going to do. And then you have this option down here. When finished, change computer boot sequence. Uh, to automatically switch them so you could boot from the new one. But what I'm going to do is simulate taking the hard drive out and just running it off the new one. So once this is done, I'll remove the 64 gig drive and then boot it up with the 80 gig drive just to make sure it works that way. All right, so I'm going to click on start to begin the process. All right, then you get this warning here that everything on the destination drive will be removed or deleted. So make sure it's either blank or you don't care about the uh, data that's on it. So we'll click on OK. So now we have the option for hot migration, which will do it within Windows, or you could reboot to the uh, WinPE environment to do it that way, but we're going to do it right from within Windows here. So click on hot migration. So it's going to create a snapshot and then start the process. Okay, so it's going to copy the files here from the old drive to the new. So we'll pause the video and be back when it's done. Okay, so the process is complete. And this only took a couple minutes. But this is just a test computer with basically just Windows installed on it and nothing else. So yours might take a little longer. So system migration completed. Uh, please reboot to BIOS and set the target disk as the boot device. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to shut this down and then take out the original drive and just boot it up with the uh, new one. So I'll be right back. But before we go here, you can see how in disk management, we have a clone of the drive here, the old and the new. So that's looking pretty good right there. Okay. All right. So time to shut down and swap out the drives. All right. So far it's looking good. Booting up into Windows. All right. So back in Windows. So let's check out disk management. All right, you can see we have our 80 gig drive with our EFI system partition and recovery partition and the other drive is gone and we're back in Windows. We have our Disk Genius app on the desktop there, so everything's looking good. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you can download the Disk Genius tool and you can check it out and also check out some of the other cool features that it comes with. And of course, before you do any disk migration or cloning, do a backup of your files just in case something goes wrong. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.